<laughs> hey toy fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is of Leonard Toy's uh, Alien 40th Anniversary Collection uh, Xenomorph Swarm. And this one features uh, a reused figure who I believe is going to be um, a Weyland yutani uh, commando and he comes with a planetary rover bike and um, the what is this uh, xenomorph runner or the uh, the alien dog um, depending on if you have watched alien 3 or whatnot but yeah this is like an alien 3 playset to be honest it's uh, the Wayland yutani commando is um, you can see them at the end of the third alien movie and the uh, the dog or the the runner um, is the primary uh, villain or you know, just alien and uh, xenomorph in, in that movie. So let's uh, let's see what's in here. Um, as I said before, if you watch the other ones, um, the other unboxings I did, the the box art's great. Like this alone worth the price of admission for me to ten bucks. Um, pretty cool. You got a like a neon xenomorph on the side here, the alien, and it bleeds around to the side. And then on the back, you got. Um, a little uh, a little flow chart uh, from egg to queen um, of the the alien xenomorph a picture of the uh, of the alien that's included and it says xenomorph runner articulated figure includes battle accessories and more okay let's see what that and more is um, but yeah little uh, little story blurb so you know how to play with your toys and let's see did I I cut the side open. No, I cut the side open. Let's see what's in here. But yeah, I uh, I'm not mad at the uh, the reused. Uh, oh nope, I still got some tape on here. Jumping ahead. Um, not mad at the use of the uh, core elite figure that they packed in as a repainted uh, Whale and Yutani Commando. Um, I think that was one of my favorites. Uh, from the Coralie um, line, so that's pretty cool. Um, it says full scale attack action or uh, was it action articulated figures? Well, there it is. And, he, and he's riding it on a motorbike, and he has a little uh, a pulse rifle of some sort. And let's see what we got here. Uh, this looks like a big piece of tape. Might just come up. We'll see. If not. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like it's... Oh, that wasn't actually holding anything but the uh, <laughs> the little action articulated side. Weird. Um, let's start with the uh, the Wayland yutani Commando. And, hey, that came out pretty easily. Um, look at these, look at these, these fat tires. <laughs> um, check that out. So... Looks like he's got a little decal on the front. I don't know if that's uh, the speedometer on the on the front <laughs> of the of the bike or not, but uh, that's cool. He's got a seat. Um, I do like the Whalen Utani uh, decals on both sides. Uh, so one says Whalen Utani Core. The other one is a, ser a long serial number, and then we got the 2019 Lanard uh, made in China. Um, plastic um, stamp. So other than that, um, same Whalen Yutani sticker on both sides. You know, whatever. That's cool. And this, the sucker's not gonna uh, fall over because those wheels are pretty fat. So then, let's see what we have when it comes to the newly repainted um, ogre. I want to say his name was Ogre, and uh, kind of fun if uh, if the core elite are in the same world as um, the Alien franchise. You know, like these guys are just doing their own thing and it's, uh, swept up in a corporate war of some sort. Um, and a lot of fun, you know. Uh, same scale, like I uh, plan on. You know, displaying these uh, aliens along with um, my GI Joes. They're the same skill as that, so, and I love Joe. Um, but yeah, this is a, a fun little 
diorama piece if you wanted to. I guess if you remove the bubble, if you were careful about it, you could display this on your shelf if you wanted. Um, or leave it in the box, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's check out Ogre. Um, he comes with a gun and it looks like it's rubber band to his hand. And I might just leave it there because you never know with these lantern guys if, uh, if it's just going to be too loose to fall out or not. Um, it, it looks, nah, you know what? It looks like it's going to gonna hold let's go ahead and yeah yeah it's not bad all right i will uh i will leave i will leave it rubber bandless um fair enough i do like the uh the um space suit that he's got on the, i guess it's the the commando suit whatever um who knows if that's uh that's legit or not but yeah sure um I do like, I do like the color. Yeah, it, it looks uh, sort of like the movie. It's got, it's got a silver uh, or just a gray helmet on. Um, I think some of this is removable. Uh, no, nah, it looks like it's one piece to be honest. But um, his legs, they just uh, they bend at the knee, but they only uh, go back and forth. But his arms are fully uh, articulated. More so, uh, just kind of reminds me of like the old. Uh, G.I. Joe's when I was a kid, the, the third party ones, the knockoffs, where it's like the arms would be pretty sweet with the articulation, you know, I was like, man, they did a good job up there, but uh, the legs are even, you know, the, the bend at the knee's good, but it just kicked back and forth, um, but yeah, Ogre is, uh, I really love the, uh, the last Ogre that came out, because he had like, he was, he's raw, man, he's, he's got like a Punisher skull on his chest, and, uh, I don't know if he was uh, battling, I think it was like a chemical virus or something, um, but he comes with a, with a giant shotgun, which is cool. I don't think it fit in his hand properly. Uh, let's toss that knife real quick. Yeah, it's like, look at that handle. It's super just long, and it's, it's like you want to stretch that hand out, you can, I guess. So I'm guessing that's why I had it on his back, um, but... His paint job's sweet. He does, uh, just looks like a hoss, so. But anyways, he went from uh, terrorist organization um, in Coralite to, I guess, probably moving up in the world, working for Weyland Utani. They were a pretty big corporation, evil, evil corporation with all the money, so. Uh, it was probably, um, it's probably a good move. Um, did they fix the scar on this? Well, he's got like a bloody scar on his face on this one, and it looks like it's healed over time. There's still the, the mark there. It's not painted. But um, give him some character. You know, good on Ogre for, uh, good on Ogre for, uh, you know, still making moves um, as time went on. Uh, you know, it's probably a win inside, man. Uh, wh who else could he join? He could uh, join the uh, company from, from Blade Runner, I believe. But, uh. There it is, or probably one of the fast food chains. If you read like the comics or whatnot, uh, the the alien and predator stuff, they get pretty wild. But um, yeah, the the bike's cool. Um, kind of reminds me of no, it's not at all like the other core elite bike. The uh, this one is more of like a little uh, Japanese bike, Suzuki or something. And this is a you know just fat track space uh, rover, so that's cool. Um, at least there was an upgrade there. Anyways, enough about the reused uh, core elite figures for uh, for this line. Plus, everybody came here for for the alien, and I'm sure. And I, I get sidetracked easily. I just like to have fun. So sorry about that. Um, this this dude is uh, sweet. He's not my favorite uh, alien. I I prefer either the big chap or the warrior um, over the third one. But this toy is pretty cool. Um, he uh, he stands the way you want him to. Um, his arms have uh, some fun articulation. They kind of move back and forth. His head, oh, you know what? I just thought it was kind of stuck, but no, it, it rocks back and forth as well. Um, his legs are stuck in, in place, but, you know, he's just supposed to be on hind legs anyway, so um, all fours, so that looks good. And, you know, as for a battle, um, that's a pretty fun little two-pack. Uh, if 
if the Wayland Yutani guy is uh, chasing the um, the alien, or if the alien is chasing him and you know wants to uh, almost got him, or you know, it's, you know, this is kind of fun. Like he could sort of be looking back or shooting from the side. Um, not a bad, uh, not a bad pair. Probably, uh, this is definitely the best figure for the reused uh, soldiers or scientists I've opened so far. Um, the other ones were not very articulated. They were just kind of Gennaro um, soldiers. And this one is a bit more fun for your uh, $10. Um, especially with the little motorcycle too. You know, you can, you can have some interesting stuff going on there. Um, you know, if uh, the alien is tired of running, he can hop on as well. And there we go, you know. Let's see. It's not too bad. <laughs> you know, what else do you want? It's uh, uh, ten dollars, so uh, Walmart exclusive. So if you find it, um, I'm a, I'm a crazy alien fan, so wasn't gonna leave it on the shelf. And the neon uh, pink red uh, day glow color is fun to me. So um, yeah, win win. Um, hopefully you find them and pick them up if you want. If not, um, <laughs> I'm not mad at you. And I like Alien, so it's not, it's not for everybody. But regardless, um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you pick these up. They're pretty fun. Um, and the price is right just to check them out. Even to leave them in the package, to be honest. Like, the packaging is awesome. If I don't, you know, like, I don't know what you're going to do with these guys if you open them. I'm going to throw mine on the shelf, but, like... You know, in a, in a package on display, the, the box is, is great. Um, so, regardless, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye.